Hello and welcome back to part six of CTR. And in this part, we'll be finishing up. Well, we'll be finishing up the main races of, uh, of World Three, as well as doing the boss against Komodo Joe. Tiny Arena. As a as a concept, this is actually a pretty interesting course. The main issue that Tiny Arena actually has is that it's well, it's almost it almost is the longest course in the damn game. And they still expect you to go through three laps with this. One of the one of the big reasons why I, why I compare uh, uh, CTR to Double Dash so often is not only because of the amount of fun that I have in each game, but actually the comparison between Tiny Arena and Wario Coliseum. I was gonna say Wario, Wario Col Coliseum. Yeah. yeah. Wario Coliseum is fucking huge, but they make you only do it tw uh, only for two laps, and that actually makes Wario Coliseum last about as long as all the other tracks. Tiny Arena takes two minutes, it takes two minutes on each lap, pretty much regardless of how well you race it. Yeah, it's because the, the whole, the whole race track is set up like, like, intestines. Like, they're all, like, piled on top of each other. Like, yeah. freaking miles of course in, like, a, rel a relatively small space. I'm sorry, it's closer to a minute 30, but, yeah. You lied to me. I, re I really don't like how how lengthy the laps for uh, uh, for timing arena are, especially because well look at it this is all just brown it's very very brown this map is shitty <laughs> it is shitty god damn it it's loaded with dirt and grime and, I mean yeah there's a there's a real stadium out at, as the skybox but that's just the damn skybox where are I the don't mud pay wrestlers to the skybox while I'm racing where where are the scantily clad big breasted women throwing each other into pools of mud. I, I demand it. This is a Canadian, damn it. Pay-per-view. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, we're way too far ahead. They, that missile would have had to go through th uh, two different walls in order to get us. Hop. This TNT Stop harping. Hop. Hop, damn it. Yeah, that's one of the problems with uh, that tiny arena has. If you get hit with a TNT crate, because of how hilly uh, the the racetrack is, you're gonna get you're gonna get detonated. Dang. I honestly like. I think I remember having a lot of fun with Tiny Arena because the laps were long. It felt like um, if I fell behind, at least I had that much more time to catch up. In theory, you do, but if you're against anyone that's actually skilled, Tiny Arena is one of the best series to show off how skilled you are at power sliding. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this turns for days. Yeah, because although you've only got, you know, uh, relatively small areas to do them in, the power slides are actually relatively easy to land once you actually know, uh, once you actually know some of the more cardinal rules of racing in general. Specifically, stay in the center of the course uh, when you're attempting to accelerate, and when you're attempting, when you're attempting to, uh, to speed up, go, uh, going into the shallower portions of the, uh, of the course. I felt like I was, I was very brief, briefly reminded of my own, like, real-life driving strategy. Because, uh, <laughs> when you, when you, we'll put, it, we'll put it this way, when you have a vehicle that has a lot of mass, you kind of have to train it to go into the direction you need to before you even elect to go in that direction. Give a slight turn, maybe even, like, come close to the corner of the road, but then, because of the angle that you have to, you have to resolve at, um, then you end up on the other side of the road, not hitting it, of course, but using the but using the width of the road in order to eventually return to center. So zigzag spidering, zigzagging, corner hopping, corner cutting, dingo dialing, cat cleaning. Weapon held at forehead. Gunpoint, give me trophy. <laughs> so, you've beaten all the other racers on these tracks. Well, now you see why I'm the most feared driver on the circuit. I'll earn the right to face Oxide by crushing you into brick dust. Let's race. Komodo Joe, you're a Komodo dragon, not a serpent. Okay. Stop that. Okay, so I have a I have a couple problems with Komodo Joe. Uh, the first thing, right. um, I thought I always thought Komodo Joe was the taller, fatter one of the Komodo brothers. 
Um, well, he isn't, but... Right, well, uh, this, this I guy is... what the other brother's name Mo. is. It's Mo and Joe. Um, so, so yeah, I expected the fatter one. I'm not sure why the skinnier one is like, is, uh, apparently is the more, is the superior racer. I guess maybe they're saying that while Mo is good at swinging swords and getting bored, this guy will race for days and throw TNT, apparently. Yeah, Komodo Joe uh, is, um, uh, as a racer himself, is uh, much like all the other boss racers. Just stay ahead of him and you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah, he's, he's, oh is, my god, he's coming up on you so fast. Yeah, the problem yep. is, as a boss racer, he does act, he does actually move faster than all the other racers. But the real issue that Komodo Joe, that is with this boss race, is the track itself. There aren't really good uh, power slide opportunities throughout most of Dragon Mines. Yeah, not to mention, there are, there are there's a shitload of heads in this level. Uh, not really a shitload, but enough to, to where you really do want to have uh, missiles as opposed to any of the other uh, any of the other uh, power-ups throughout the race. Oh you my can't god! You actually get hit by the other power-ups, but he, missiles yeah. are the one that you want. He just yeah he he let the TNT fall on his head and then he got hit by it. Yep. Noob. Oh my God, he's so he, he is so far behind now. <laughs> yeah, but we're at but we're at the curve bridge. Oh look, he's caught back up. Oh my God. Well, no, no, he has to. He's still got some distance. See, to go. the mini map is lying to me. The mini map is not very good at rendering overlapping tracks. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that, but that's what we get when we're in 3D racers. The third boss has been defeated. There was no third place person. And now Komodo Joe cries for eternity. Sounds like a seagull. You're not so slow after all. Surprise to me you did. Here's a key for the win. Still. I think you're not fast enough to outrace Oxide. We're going to lose our planet, and, and it will all be, be your, your fault. fault. Uh huh. Sure. Come on. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the vote of confidence. I, I appreciate it. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Oh God! I got Rocky Road ice cream. Like a wine uh, biscuit? Sadly, uh, sadly, our grocery list does not have ice cream on it. <laughs> hey! Hey! I could fix the What's the big cream. idea? <laughs> Having nitro crates strong uh, strong from Lost Room is supposed to be attempting to get uh, these crystals. If only, some <laughs> if only sometimes the driver will look back at you and kind of like shake his fist at something like, why are you out of. Sending me into nitro crates. I think that they actually. I think they actually do have those kind of animations during a, a, a Nitro Kart, but Nitro Kart's a terrible racing game, and I'm not playing that. <laughs> is that is that another Crash Bandicoot racing game? Yes, it is the third of the the third, and I believe the final of the uh, crack of the of the Crash uh, racing games. I see. Nitro Kart sucks. It does. It sucks. I, I'm not even going to attempt to defend it. Nitro Kart's course design is boring and confusing. All, all the shortcuts are required in order in order to get a major, in order to get most of the collectibles. The collectibles themselves don't actually do all that much Nine, without a full eight, set. Although to be honest, that's also that's also the case here. And the additional characters that they bring in don't really have that great of personality. Yeah, I mean, who do they have to choose from? The the rejects from uh, uh, Crash Twin, not not Twin Sanity. Uh, I was gonna say uh, Wrath of Cortex. No, they invented. They uh, they bring in the rest of Oxide's family. Oh God damn. Here's the thing. Although not although Nitro Kart is the third uh, is the third uh, of the racing games, it's a direct sequel to CTR. So you've defeated Nitrous Oxide. Well, can you defeat his father? Not his father, but uh, but very specifically the rest of his family. Ah. <laughs> uh, he's got a. I think he's got two elder brothers. I think I think that's how that goes. But um, but yeah, they 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 invent three racers for e uh, for each faction, and it's like oh, okay. Uh, 
but none of these factions are actually all that interesting. Uh, just you I, got, Ox, I, you got I, Oxide's <laughs> faction, which is which is there as the host of the tournament. You got uh, Crash's faction, which is Crash, uh, Coco, and I think is it. I forget what that what uh, Crash's uh, uh, Crash's older uh, older large relative is. Uh, I think it's Brash. Crush Bandicoot. <laughs> I I don't think it's Crush. I think I think Crush was the name of the of the Bandicoot looking monster from uh, Wrath of Cortex. Actually, okay. I could be totally wrong though. Why and did then I... you've got, and you've also got the animal. The animals themselves actually have a faction, believe it or not. And that's a Pura Polar, and I think it's Penta again, actually. That's a penguin. Some Penta penguin, but you know he's just there. Oh, there none of the characters actually have distinctive personalities. <laughs> Even the villain faction is just uh, is just uh, Cort uh, Cortex Engine and. Tiny again. Probably, yeah, I was going to say tiny. Um, it's been a while, it's been forever since I've actually even uh, 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 looked into a uh, Nitro card, but no, I'm not doing Nitro card, Nitro card sucks. So I have one very important question about Nitro card. Okay. Does, do, does Oxide and his family poke fun at NASCAR families? I don't think so, but mostly that's because they're pretty much a stereotypical NASCAR family, except that they're cheating. So they are making fun of NASCAR families. <laughs> not really. I mean, as characters, they're not. As developers, sure, but. Well, I well only because I follow the philosophy that resemblance is parody. So if it's it's it would not be a coincidence if they if they poked fun at NASCAR. <laughs> okay. And now we must do the CTR the CTR uh, race for Dragon Mines. I hate this race. Fucking dragon mines! Don't I, I've been through it once. I've been through it twice. Those both sucked. You're putting me through it again. And I'll have to go through it a fourth time later. Jesus! Put down that goddamn harmonica. <laughs> no, the the track for dragon mines is actually okay. I mean, I don't care for it all, all that much, but it's you know not terrible. It's very See, it's very energetic. And oh look, bullshit moment number the first. You gotta, you have to redo a section of the track in order to get the letter. Yeah. That sucks. I mean, technically that was also a segment. In, that was also a segment in Crash Cove, but in Crash Cove it wasn't really a large segment. That's a large segment of Dragon Mines. It's like you know, 10, 15 percent of the course uh, is that fucking ramp. Maybe percentage-wise, I would say it sets you back about five to six seconds, which is pretty significant. But we are already in third place, so let's. I think you need to look at the screen again, Cloud. Uh, second place. Are you sure? My first. screen says we're in first. Well, now we're in first. We've, we've already, we've already. That Rocket Rabbit is not responsible for desynchronization, crashing into tracks, incorrectly guessing which rank we are in the race, or laying down nitro boxes at your feet, exploding. Bombs. Die. Die. <laughs> I love the fact that you can throw bombs both forwards and backwards. It, that is this. But you can't throw TNT crates forward, can you? No. And the whole reason that is because, well, you set TNT down, you don't actually throw them. Yeah. I mean... So, well, you saw what happens when, with uh, Komodo Joe. He, when he throws TNT, they actually explode. Yeah, they, they they don't right. They don't stay as a trap. It's just it's an att it's attack, attack, attack. Nice. And with that, we have finished and got the CTR token for Dragon Mines. And Focus. in the next part, we will go to Dragon Mines finished. for the fourth time. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll be finishing World Three, but we're not doing Dragon Mines till later.